Hey ladies, so I've been filming today, but I took off all my makeup. I just have on some new lip gloss and I want to show you my skin. Um, I'm a firm believer in keeping your skin looking really, really good, especially when you're wearing makeup. Like I don't wear foundation, but even if you wear any kind of makeup, if it's just a little powder that you got your skin tone, a BB cream, or a heavy foundation, you should take care of your skin. And I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I'm not throwing no shade on nobody. But sometimes when you wear so much makeup, you could tell who's taking care of their skin and who's not taking care of their skin because their skin just looks so, so dull. I mean, I could look dull right now to some people, but it's a different kind of dull. And I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But you can tell when a woman is taking care of her skin underneath her makeup now i don't use anything fancy i don't use anything high end as you guys know anything that i do is pretty much budget friendly and i was asked by a few of my subscribers to do a skincare routine you know what how do i take care of my skin you know they say i have nice skin and i'm appreciative so i wanted to show you guys what i use now what i use may not work for you and what you may not work for me but you know, I wanted to share and to see, you know, what you guys think. I did a skincare routine video before. It was like when I first started YouTube. But, um, it's almost a year. I'm approaching a year, I think. Yeah, next week. Yeah, I do a big video for that one. But, um, yeah. I, I use simple stuff. My stuff pretty much has not changed except maybe one, one thing. But pretty much, I'm going to show you when I'm out of something, I'll let you know what else I use. Okay. So, if I have on my makeup, if it's my eye makeup, my face powder, whatever the case may be, I pretty much, I take off my makeup with this here. This is a CVS brand to be exact. And this is eye makeup remover. And this is compared to the Neutrogena one that everyone raves about. It's all free. And I just pretty much, it says all free, but it has that all base. But I use this, I buy this repeatedly because it does the job. I just use a cotton swab, take off my eye makeup, and call it a day. Now, if I just want to be lazy and just use, like some women use um, makeup removal wipes, I use those too. It depends if I catch it on sale. If I don't, I'm, like I said, I'm very budget friendly and I'm not ashamed of it. I use baby wipes, even if it's brand name or if it's off brand. These particular ones is offering. This is a Dollar General one. So this is um, softly scented. I like the scent. And it has 72 on it and it cost me like two bucks. So this is what I wipe all over my face. And if, I, if I'm that lazy, I, I just take two of these, take it off, and call it a day. Now for washing my face so say in the morning in the morning this is what I use in the morning and this would be the olive olay and this is the foaming face wash I use it in the morning I don't use it every day because I don't I feel like I'm not gonna put any soapy formula or anything on my face every day because that can irritate you but in the morning say every other morning I will use this but if I do like a real like a mess something at night I'll just use a wash, uh, like a cool wash, right? not a warm one, not a hot one. I will use cold water and wipe my face off. And that's the truth. I'll brush my teeth, get all that going on, and take a cold, cool rag and just wash my face off. Because, you don't, you know, you just woke up, so you know you didn't have makeup on, you know, not unless, you know, you didn't clean your makeup off properly. Now, I don't have a Clarisonic. I hear they are the best. I don't even have an imitation one, but I... I left that. I do have um, like a like an exfoliator sponge that I use across my face, and it's like two in a box. It's for the Dollar General, and I use that, and you can see all the dirt just coming off your face. So for my toner, another CVS brand, and this is the L'Oreal um, generic version. I use this, and if I run out of this, depending on what's on sale, I will either get the Witch Hazel, the Dickinson. Or I will get um, the regular witch hazel, or I'll just pick this up. You know, to me, toner is toner is just to put the pH balance back into your skin, make sure everything is nice. So that's what I use that for. Now, my daytime moisturizer, 
is Olive Olay. I love Olive Olay products. So I, I grew up watching my great aunt use that. My mom used it. So I have used it myself. And everyone had pretty good skin. I mean, again, everything works differently. But I have dry skin. This is this is the one that's sensitive skin. But I do use the other one to complete something complete. You know what I'm talking about. It's a whole bunch of different Olive Olays. I use this one. And I use one in the jar as well. But this one I'm trying to get rid of. I have a little bit more left, so I'm using this one up before I go purchase any more um, skincare products. Now, for nighttime, but I'll leave this one in the shower, and I'll just, you know, do my face. So at nighttime, this is age defined because again, you know, I'm not getting any younger. I'm almost 40, so I have to, you know, take care of my skin. I can't just think I'm a spring chicken still and just, you know use soap and water and call it a day. No, I have to take care of my skin. This is age defined. This is just a daily renewal cleanser. And I will use this one at night. Just to kind of balance it off because you know sometimes if you use the same thing over and over again, your skin get used to it, you can get breakouts and stuff. If you see I do have a little pimple right up in there. But I just use these two interchangeably day, night, you know, sometimes night, day, night, depending. But I, I, I use these. And at night, you'd be surprised what I put on my face to go to sleep. I have a small jar. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. I have this one. I had this particular one, this jar for a while. I do have the big one, and I put that in one of the bathrooms here, and I just scoop it out and put them in here, and I'll keep this one for myself. But at night, I put this on my skin, and I know someone might say, oh, my God, you're clogging your pores. It works for me, and I have dry skin. Some folks put... Vaseline on their face, but at night after I wash my face, if I'm not too lazy, <laughs> I will put this on my face all over and just go to bed. And that's what I do. I keep everything simple. Sometimes when you go overboard, it just it just doesn't work. And then for my mask, I've been using this for a very very long time. I want to try something else, but I don't know. I don't do a mask often. I want to say like every other week, something like that. Sometimes even once a month because. I'm okay with my skin. I'm okay with what it's looking like. And this is the Queen Helen um, Mint Julep Mask. I use this. And it's been working pretty good. You know, it does what it's supposed to do for me. But I do want to try some other things. I may go out and get, I think I want to like, get the, um, what's that, the Bure, the, um, the blackhead thing. I think I'm seeing some. I'm not sure. So, I don't know. But I want to go try it anyway. And I think I want to try some other masks as well. But I am comfortable with what I use to clean my face. And that is it. Um, if I do go pick up some more products, I'm going to put it on my blog. Because I'm going to do a more in-depth um, post on my blog. So you can see each item. And if I go out and buy anything else, that will be up there. And I'll put like how often I wash my face. Just in detail if I did not you know, explain that here. But that's that. I hope you enjoyed the video. So now you know how I take care of my skin and what I use on my face. I hope you like it. You know, if you're using something that's within the drugstore because I feel that my skin can handle it, you know, it doesn't have to be so, so high. And I'm sure if I use anything high, it might even make things even better. But for right now, this is what I like. And if you're using anything, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please like it up, thumbs it up, and subscribe. So I'll talk to you. Don't forget, I got a giveaway going on. I'll leave the link down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye.